Be sure to check out Rob Plays. There you can hang out with me while we play video games and talk about life stuff. So what I want to do here is begin our lead up to Civil War II by having a really quick discussion about all new, all different Thanos. And what I'm hoping is that at the end of this, you'll have a better understanding of how he exists in the new Marvel Universe, as well as how he ties directly into the events that will start with Civil War II. So like most of Marvel's publications in all new, all different Marvel, Thanos serves as a holdover from before the collapse of the multiverse, with his return making direct reference to the actions of Reed Richards and the events of Secret Wars. To sidetrack for a second, with the Ultimates launching as the second wave of rollouts for all new, all different Marvel, the cohesiveness of Marvel's cosmic opera began to take shape as a self-contained series of events involving but not necessarily tying into Earth-bound events. As an example, with Black Panther existing on the team as one of its most intelligent members next to Blue Marvel, his role was explained in that his sister Shuri still remained deceased following the events leading into Secret Wars, with T'Challa returning to his position as king and attempting to resurrect Shuri's body but proving unsuccessful. Conversely, with Ultimates debuting prior to the official launch of Captain Marvel issue number one, chronologically, Carol Danvers was established as having already taken over her role as head of S.W.O.R.D., the sentient world observation and response department which exists to analyze cosmic threats to Earth and catalog them for future reference. Using her resources and intelligence data to assist the Ultimates in their mission, the first story arc saw the group turning their attention to Galactus, leading into the events of Civil War II. Referencing my video on his character, where the team operated to cure Galactus of his hunger allowing Al Ewing to focus on how the all new all different universe relates to the pre-Secret Wars universe, where the Ultimates had traveled beyond all known space in their attempts to understand and protect the universe, Galactus had captured the group and taken them back to their normal universe inadvertently creating a tear in space and time. Emerging from the tear and debuting in the all new all different Marvel landscape, Al Ewing established that where the conclusion of the main Secret Wars event had led us as the reader to believe that Thanos had been killed after challenging Doom's authority and power through taunts on Battleworld, because Reed Richards had used the power of the Beyonders to reset time to the moment after the multiverse's collapse, but before Doom could usurp the Beyonders power, Reed had killed the Beyonders himself and reality was restored and recreated with Thanos surviving as a prisoner in the space outside the multiverse. Leading into the events of Civil War II proper, where the principles of cosmic cubes had been studied and reformed by Project Pegasus, the potential energy group Alternate Sources United States, which focus on alternate forms of energy for power and weaponry, with various extraterrestrial races monitoring the planet Earth in their attempt to ensure humanity did not become a threat to the universe, after scouring the spaceways and discovering a Shi'ar space station which had been cataloging Project Pegasus' involvement of the Cosmic Cube, Thanos had overheard the Shi'ar scientist's conversation and looked to attain the cube for himself. Killing everyone on board following his interrogation and traveling to Earth, the lead up to Civil War II came into play with the introduction of the Inhuman Ulysses. Taking place in Marvel's 2016 free comic book day release as well as the first half of Civil War issue number one, with Ulysses having developed the power to see the future after being exposed to the Terrigen Mists, the Inhumans were warned of Thanos' impending attack, with the all-new, all-different Avengers, Ultimates, and Inhumans responding. Killing War Machine during the fight and injuring She-Hulk to the point of hospitalization and eventual death, while the rest of the story saw the eventual kickoff of the Civil War II event, Thanos himself was locked away in stasis with no indication of what the Avengers intended to do with him. With that being said, we're going to bring this video to an end, and next Wednesday, we'll continue the process of going through the lead-up to Civil War, eventually stepping into the actual events of Civil War II. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.